Hello there, my name is Islams and I just wanted to say that this is the most exciting software I have ever used. So yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> I'm kidding. But uh, yeah, we are going to be looking at uh, some of the new features that are coming up in Blender 2.82. Imagine I haven't even used all the features that were released in Blender 2.8. And now we have new features coming up in Blender 2.82. Let's look at uh, the new features uh, that are coming up. And what I'm going to do is go over these different features that are coming up and uh, maybe do a video on each of these uh, features are uh, showing you how they work right off let's look at uh, the user interface which has not changed uh, that much so it's not that exciting to talk about so let's go to uh, the first feature i want to talk about which is udims so if you don't know what udims are it's just the, the industry standard for uv unwrapping texturing and texture painting so let's take a look at how it works in blender 2.82 so if you add a suzanne head and uh, go to uv editing you can see the UV map uh, that comes with it. And uh, basically, this is how we used to UV unwrap in Blender 2.8 and other previous versions of Blender. Uh, you always had this limited square space uh, to work in, and uh, that meant that uh, you had limited texture resolution for your UV map or for your models. So let's say you want to work with a texture resolution of 2K or 4K, and I saw that uh, this was this is taking up only half of this space, which means that uh, if you have a 2K resolution, it's only taking up 1k 1k resolution which might not be enough for you so what you had to do was uh, to scale this up so that it takes up more than just 1k uh, in order to maximize the amount of resolution that can be used for that uh, area so but uh, then you run into a problem uh, that uh, of course you have increased the texture resolution uh, that this uv island is taking up uh, but uh, then you have this extra islands that are now overlapping with uh, this main island. Uh, the option was to move this, these other islands away from this uh, so that it, they don't overlap but uh, that that meant sometimes that uh, you had to scale them down to fit in your UV space because again you only had uh, this square to work in and uh, anything that bleeds out of this area means that uh, you won't be able to texture on it. So you always had to scale these downs which means that uh, now you have reduced the resolution for these islands. Uh, you have maximized how much resolution this island is taking up at the cost of uh, the resolution uh, these other islands are taking up. That's why the introduction of UDIMS to Blender is very important because now what you have to do, if you're running out of texture space uh, for this, uh, for your models, all you have to do is, uh, of course, you have to create the image uh, that uh, is going to contain this resolution. And uh, now you have another option under this if you create a new image, you have this new option called Tiled uh, that will kind of activate uh, the UDIMS. And now if you click OK, you have activated UDIMS. Uh, you, you see now we are running out of texture space, but uh, all we have to do if you want these UV islands to have the same texture resolution, all you, you have to do is uh, hit N to access this menu. And you can see we have a new uh, panel uh, called UV, UDIM tiles. And uh, now we, all we have to do is click this plus and add another image uh, that will be tiled on this on this UDIM. So now we can move this onto this space and then this space, scale them up and uh, scale them up to whatever resolution you want, you want them to be. Now, if you also want this to be on a different island, you can create another island on a different texture space. You can, or a different tile, you can just click plus and add another tile. I'll move them to this space here, scale them up to, uh, so that they can have uh, the same resolution as uh, any of these islands are having and now all you have to do is uh, right now you can see that uh, they are not they don't have any images uh, they are sitting on so uh, you just have to come into uh, those tiles and uh, hit fill type and you will create the same image uh, hit okay you can even choose a different color if you want them to have a different color and uh, you can see now that is filled and uh, this is also you just create another one for that and I can see now we have this and so if we go to if we go to shading and uh, let me split this expand this and uh, have this as my UV editor you can see our UDIMS uh, let me you can see right now the image is not loaded in so I would have to navigate and load it in I uh, can see now uh, the image we are having so then if you create a new material uh, you can just load it 
load other UD exactly in the same way as you load up textures. So shift A texture, image texture, and then load in uh, your texture. Now if we fit this in, you can see that uh, all the separate islands have their their own image. Uh, we have some leading in here, and that's because that uh, one of our island, uh, this main island, is bleeding into uh, the second image, so we can scale that up. So you can even see how you can, if you wanted to do this, you can even uh, spread this out uh, to multiple images if you wanted. But uh, there is now enough resolution to just work on one island. So you no longer are limited to just one square, you, ha you can work with multiple squares. So if I wanted to add 20 or 30 squares, I can easily do that. So and if we save this right now uh, because this image is just generated so you don't have it saved on your computer so you really have to save it uh, before you close uh, blender otherwise you will lose uh, that work so let me save this on the desktop and then create a folder save that and uh, let me show you what happens so if i go into that uh, folder you can see it has created three different images uh, to represent uh, these uh, three islands uh, so, so let's look at how UDIMS work with texture painting. So if we go to texture paint and then uh, in the mode, I'll make sure I, I select material and I also go to look dev and select what we, we want to paint on. Uh, let me make sure that I'm, I'm, naming, I'm naming this correctly. So I'll just call this UDIM so that we know what we are painting on. That's what we are painting on. So this works exactly the same way as what we were working with when we had one single type. Uh, so if I paint, you can see I'm painting exactly. And you can paint on different images as you want. So nothing really has changed in terms of that, except that uh, now instead of uh, working on this limited uh, resolution single image how uh, you can work with multiple images yeah so that's how udims work it's a very exciting and very useful addition to the blender tools and uh, yes yeah, so thank you for watching and uh, maybe in the next video we'll be looking at uh, new custom blender bevel profiles thank you for watching leave a like subscribe and i'll see you in the next video